Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add falling snow on your website. And the reason I'm gonna be doing this is firstly because it is the festive season. It's currently December 2019, the 13th. And I just wanted to make this video because I've actually added it to my own website. You can kind of see it happening. I've made mine really subtle, but we're gonna walk through how to do this. I've seen that there's a few other videos, but nothing really covering just how to go about doing this. So let's walk through it nice and quick. Firstly, I'm gonna link you down to this uh, code. I'll also probably just include the code in the description. But what you wanna do is just come in here, select it all, copy, and we are basically ready to go. Now, I like to use a tool called Webflow to build my website. This is just my personal choice. If you're using, you know, WordPress or you're using just something different, that's completely fine. All you're really gonna be doing here is putting this code into a basically HTML block. So for example, inside of Webflow, what I've done is you can see here inside my navigator, I'll just make this a little bit bigger, but I've brought in a HTML embedded element. And to do this, if you are in Webflow, you just come up here to the top left, you scroll down to the bottom, and then there is this embedded option. So basically what we do is we just drag that in. I dragged mine to the very top of my page. If we just open up the navigator once again, as we can see here in the navigator, the HTML embedded has been put to the top. I'm just going to delete this one because I've already got this. Over here in my settings, I'm going to click open code editor. And all I've done is just pasted in that piece of code. Now, I've made mine a little bit more subtle because originally this was a lot stronger. So for example, if I bring this up to nine here, this is the shadow behind your snowflakes. This is what's gonna make them stand out a little bit more. So I believe I set mine to 0.35. That just means it's 35% op opacity on this 000, which is basically black in terms of this color code. And then you can also increase the amount of shadow, sort of the blur, you could say here, or the feathering, um, which I've currently got mine to five pixels. But just to show you what this looks like, if we brought it up to nine, you're gonna see all the snow on this site should be a little bit more obvious to see now because we've brought the shadow up a lot more. I just wanted this to be a kind of subtle effect personally because otherwise it can be a little bit distracting. I just put it on my homepage, makes it a little bit fun, a little bit festive, especially while I've been uh, busy working away on this brand new challenge, which um, you're more than free to come across to AaronWard.com and sign up for. But either way, 0 0.3 and 5 I found was perfect. They're the only things I changed. You can obviously play around, do your own thing. And just to show you what this looks like, it looks like this. It's super subtle. It's going to be hard to see, but you can see there's a snowflake over here and here. There's some happening over here and here. And obviously, if we scroll down, it will make more sense once we go over those. But it's kind of nice, you know, just adds a little bit of fun, a little bit of joy to the holiday season as we are, you know, approaching Christmas Day. So yeah, go have fun with this. Obviously, having a online business is all about having fun. Otherwise, what's the point in doing it? So yeah, I'll link this down below for you. Once again, I use Webflow. I'll link to that as well if you want to go check it out. Otherwise, pretty much try and bring in a HTML embedded. You could always include it in the actual header section of your page as well. So for example, on my homepage here, I come into here, you could always include it inside the head tag, um, which would also bring it in, but it's it's better to try and bring in a HTML element instead, otherwise it could um, you know just be a bit annoying or you could forget about it here. So yeah, once sort of Christmas is over, just come in and go in and you know delete that embedded HTML that you put in. So hopefully that's good. Publish once you're done if you're using Webflow and that's your site looking all Christmas and festive.